Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lecture. And today, I want to read the lesson from Ecclesiasticus. Uh, this is one of those that is very well known. Even those who have uh, Protestant Bibles that have removed the book of Ecclesiasticus and the other deuterocanonical books from the canon of Scripture, even though the Church has universally accepted it uh, up until the Reformation uh, and, and continues to accept it in the Roman Catholic, Orthodox, and Anglican Communion. Um, this is one of those sayings which I think a lot of folks will hear the opening phrase and will say, oh, I actually have heard that one. Uh, so Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 44, beginning at verse 1. Let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. The Lord hath wrought great glory by them through his great power from the beginning. Such as did bear rule in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies. Leaders of the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of learning meet for the people, wise and eloquent are their instructions. Such as found out musical tunes and recited verses in writing. Rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them and their praises might be reported. And some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they were never born and are become as though they had never been born and their children after them. But these were merciful men, whose righteousness hath not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance, and their children are within the covenant. Their seed standeth fast, and their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever, and their glory shall not be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their name liveth forevermore. The people will tell of their wisdom and the congregation will show forth their praise. Okay, so uh, again, I, I hope you recognize the opening line because it is actually a pretty well known and used in literature. Uh, let us now praise famous men and our fathers that begat us. And of course, the, the writer of Ecclesiastes, this wisdom literature starts out by saying there's these people who've done these great things, rulers of, of kingdoms and leaders of the people and the wise counsel they've given and all and you know musicians who've made beautiful uh, music uh, and uh, things like that, people, rich men who've been furnished with ability. All that. But then he turns it and he says, but then, you know, there are those who are not as well known, those who've not perhaps had all those opportunities, those who have not, you know, are not going to be remembered in the next generation. I mean, everybody knows the name Henry Ford, but who knows the name of the guy who put the wheels on the front left Model T Ford for 22 years or 32 years, right, on the assembly line. We don't know his name, and yet he too could be a virtuous person and a person who did wonderful and great things. And, and uh, some would, I would argue about Henry Ford, whether he was virtuous or not, but that's, that's not the point. The point is we remember Henry Ford's name because of his fame and the fact that his name is born on a car, every car that drives by from the company. Um, but yet that man, or in the case of it could be a woman as well now, um, lived a holy and virtuous life in their station in life. And yet through their children, their memory can be uh, brought back and their memory will be remembered, their name. Uh, and so it is important for us to, to do those sort of things. I see if I can grab it in one second. I actually meant to grab it before, but recently this has been floating around the internet and I wanted to share it with you. It's from St. John Chrysostom. And it says, if you knew how quickly people would forget about you after your death, you will not seek in your life to please anyone but God. Now, interestingly, the person who that quote is is St. John Chrysostom, who 1,600 years later, we still remember his name because he was a saint. Uh, but the reality is, is that if we put first things first and we're trying to please God and do what is good and what is righteous, then our memory will be immortal in the eyes of God. So today is Wednesday, 1215 Holy Communion, uh, which we'll have in the chapel. You can enter either through the front doors or come through the ministry center uh, either way, uh, or you can watch us live streamed uh, on this place where you're watching this morning meditation. And may God grant you a Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday full of blessings.